What's up guys, this is Shane from our review stuff and welcome to today's tutorial. Today's tutorial will be showing you how to use uh, Lion Recovery Disk Assistance version 1.0. So basically what you would need this for if you're getting an SSD and you need to do a fresh install of Lion onto your new SSD you're putting in your uh, Mac. Um, it could be for any type of hard drive you're re putting in your Mac um, that you need to put an operating system on. And if you don't have a disk, uh, such as the uh, Mac Mini 2011 does not have a disk drive, so this is the way you can do it with your USB. So you want to go to this link right here. I'll put it in the description below. But uh, you can also just go to the search bar and type in Line Recovery Disk Assistant. And then once you get here, it'll tell you about it. So built right in OX Lion, let you repair a disk or reinstall a Lion without the need of a physical disk. It lets you create a line recovery on an external drive that has all the same capabilities of a recovery reinstall line. So you just need to download it. The file size is 1.7 uh, megabytes, so it's not that bad. So as you can see right here, I've downloaded it already. But right now, you want to go to your downloads and click on the download you have just uh, downloaded. So wait for that to open, and then right here is the recovery disk assistance. Press open, agree. So right here is the part where you want to insert your USB drive. So let me insert my USB drive just really quick for you guys. Alright, once it's inserted, it'll be right here. Um, any information on this selected disk will be erased. And all you do is put in your password. And this will take a few minutes. It just uh, makes it work, I guess. So I'll come back to you guys. As you can see right here, it is finished. Conclusion, uh, the OSX line recovery drive was created successfully. To use your recovery disk, connect a USB drive with the recovery disk. Restart your computer while holding down the option key. And then select the recovery disk. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, we'll see you next time.